teaching kids tennis and the most common forehand mistakes and how to fix them coming up right now. Hi tennis friends, Randy here. And the first most common mistake I see with kids is not doing their unit turn. So they're set up here for the stroke and then they just face the ball like this, step and swing. And there's no shoulders and hips getting turned at all. The best way to fix the lack of unit turn is to go back to basics. Have the student be in more of a static position, more of a fixed environment, where you can just hand feed them balls or set them on the ball machine, and they just turn their shoulders and hips to take the racket back over and over and over again until it becomes muscle memory. And then by doing this, they're gonna have the confidence to bring it into the practice court and do more advanced activities. The second most common mistake that I see kids make on the forehand ground stroke is having too big of a backswing. So when they take their racket back, I can actually see the racket on the other side of their body. It's way too big, and generally, it's because the student wants to hit the ball hard. And what it's important to do to fix this critical error is to have the student take the racket back but keep the racket on the right hand side of the body where the racket butt is facing the net and the racket is pointing to the back fence. If you're receiving value from this video, please do me a favor, hit that like button so I can spread this video to more people and get more kids on the court. The third most common mistake I see kids make on the forehand ground stroke is running into the ball. So they're new to tennis, maybe their motor skills aren't quite developed yet, so they don't have that spatial awareness. So the, when they go out to hit the ball, they go to here, and then they end up hitting it like this, and it's just their arms, no shoulders and To help kids stop running into the ball on their forehand stroke, I recommend putting the emphasis on their non-dominant hand. After they do their unit turn, their left hand goes out, to, and this could help gauge the space between their body and the ball. It's a tool for them. And by doing this, they'll have more spatial awareness to understand that, yes, I want to hit the ball away from my body. I don't want to let the ball get inside. It's also okay to have the student start back in more of a fixed environment where you're not having them move out and hit. Just get this down where they're doing their unit turn, they're stepping in and hitting, having their shoulders and hips go through facing the net. We want them to be confident in their strokes and by getting back to the basics, it's gonna help them be more successful on the court. Here's a bonus mistake that I see that's super common. My juniors, sometimes their left hand is out here and then they step and hit and they get crossed up like this, which is bad because it's just preventing the flow of their swing and preventing their shoulders and hips from fully unloading. Here's how to fix it. You can place the racket in the junior's hand like this and then have them do some shadow swings. That way they start to get a feeling of having their hands separated when they're hitting the stroke. From here, they go back into their normal stroke and then their left hand runs parallel to their racket, catching it on the finish. By doing this over and over and over again, they're gonna get it down into their muscle memory. If you want to know how to teach the modern forehand to kids, watch the next video.